but by January you're gonna let it you're gonna let it come to surface and you're gonna you're gonna heal from it and you're gonna realize that this relationship with this Virgo um, is not worth holding on to yeah or a Gemini or a Libra but I'm not really seeing Libra I'm seeing heavy Virgo with fire and their moon and right or rising and then for the third party I see a fire sign that's Aries Leo Sagittarius with um, with earth in their chart they're surrounded by earth so but like I said you already know about this third party while you're watching this and um, so if you don't know about a third party then Sorry, but this message isn't for you. Okay. Come February, we have the death card. And look at that. A completion. A full circle. You are finally allowing this relationship. You are surrendering to defeat. You realize this relationship is not worth holding on to. You realize that you deserve better. You realize that this relationship has failed and you are moving on. You are letting that old shell of you just fall, fall to the ground all around you. You are trans, you are transforming. You are transitioning into another cycle in your life. Um, Yeah, you are giving up on this relationship. Come March. More secrets are coming out. Um, being sneaky. For a lot of you in this cycle... I feel when you let this um, cycle in your life complete and move forward, you feel you are taking back what is rightfully yours. You're going to fight for what you believe was stolen from you, and um, and you're not going to uh, you're not going to let this person up here get away with what they have done without letting everybody know without taking back what is rightfully yours in April temperance could be dealing with a Sagittarius but this is more importantly healing healing and becoming balanced and patient and and just finding your true self-love self-fulfillment um, true love for yourself and and realizing the beauty within you yeah you're taking your life back that's what this is yeah in March you guys are taking back your life they stole it from you at one point in time and you're taking it back. You're not going to wait for the dark. You're not going to do it while everyone's asleep. You're not going to be sneaky about it. Nope, you're going back and you are taking your life back in, in front of everybody, showing everybody that you're back and, and you are just fine. And that's going to help you heal. That's going to help you close out this chapter completely to where your heart is whole again. You're balanced. You're um, emotionally, uh, yeah, you're emotionally, uh, oh, what do I want to say? You're emotionally fulfilled because of your own doings. You're not relying on anybody else for your happiness. As, as you see in this card, yeah, this is about, you know, coming together and souls coming together, but... In this reading, you see this angel standing by herself. There's no one else in the picture. But there's still two cups. They're still flowing free. She's still happy. She's still grounded. She's still got 
the world in her hands. And it's because she is doing it on her own. She's not relying on anyone else for happiness. And that is an amazing, amazing accomplishment, Taurus, after the year you guys have had. Back to May of 2019, the High Priestess in Reverse. Secrets are coming out. They are no longer. There's nothing else left hidden from you. For a group of you, be careful of your intuition. It's not, it's off. You're listening to everybody else but your own gut, your own instincts, your own intuition. And uh, so be cautious of that in May of next year. Um, yeah. It's also, um, I'm getting, you're going to find healing through the moon. Um, you're going to... Yeah, secrets are going to come out and it's going to be a healing. Uh, it's going to able, allow you to heal fully and it's going to be done by releasing um, anything that no longer serves you in a like a re uh, release ritual by the moon. And that's going to allow you to come back into balance once you release all that and and move back in the upright. So make sure you um, are trusting your own intuition and releasing and allowing those secrets to uh, fall fall to their death. And an overall, your overall card for the next year um, is the Wheel of Fortune. I couldn't have made a better reading for you guys. Um, good karma is coming your way. After completing all these steps, after dealing with all this major arcana, after allowing uh, your your life, yourself to transform, after finding balance and self-healing, you are being rewarded with karma coming your way. The wheel is turning in your favor and good things are coming to you for the uh, year of 2018 and bringing in the 2019 year for you. So amazing. So that's all I got for you, Taurus. Happy birthday. And um, yeah, you got big things that coming ahead. But no worries. Because look, what, look how you end up. You're going to be better than you ever thought you could be. And, and you're just going to radiate. You have so many blessings coming your way. You just have to release this uh, energy here at the beginning. This next couple months might be kind of rough with these three cards here. But you know what? By the beginning of the year, you're over the heartbreak. You're closing chapters. You're taking back your own life. You're finding balance. You are releasing everything under the moon. And good karma, good fortune, and good news is all coming your way. So... Have a beautiful 2018, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed. As always, sending you love, light, and God bless.